Hello beautiful people, it is Amanda here from Mystical Dragon once again bringing you a spell for this coming full moon, the Taurus full moon that we're going to experience uh, on November the 8th. Um, this time I have a money charm bag. The Taurus full moon is of course my money moon, it is my favourite moon uh, which I find is very potent for doing money magic. So. We are going to do a money charm bag and for this you will need, we're using here a red bag, you could also use red cloth that you tie up instead of having a pre-made bag. Uh, we are using some hematite, some uh, of the metallic hematite, we have a bay leaf, we have a foreign coin, we have a cute little bee. I have nine cloves already uh, counted out uh, and also I have uh, a candle. This is a wish candle size candle that we're going to use to charge up uh, our bag as well. And I also have a ruin, the Fehu ruin, uh, which is the one that's most connected to wealth. So this is all the, the things that we need. This is a pretty simple spell, so it won't take us too long to get through this one. Essentially, you want to think about uh, if you had that extra wealth coming in, what is it that you would spend uh, that extra abundance, that extra money on? So I find having that intent, that focus, thinking about those actual things and how maybe excited you would be, how happy you would be to be able to have the money to do those things or spend on those things, usually helps to magnetize the money to you better uh, than just thinking about, you know, if I've won a million dollars or an undisclosed amount. So do think about that before you start um, this particular spell. So essentially, once you've gathered all your items, you want to charge them up with your intent. So it is good to be able to charge up each individual item with that intent. So you pick up each item between two hands, thinking about maybe what you'd spend that money on, feeling what it feels like if you were able to do those things, have that money to do that, uh, buy those things, have those experiences. So thinking, feeling, seeing uh, that intent, so take a good minute for each item to charge up and charge them each individually. And then as they're charged, just pop them straight into your bag. So each item charge up in that same way and then pop each item. You can charge your cloves up all together. Of course, you don't have to charge each individual of the nine cloves up individually, but you can charge all your cloves up uh, at once and then pop them in your bag. Your ruin as well. And when it comes to the bay leaf, we want to charge that up. Do it gently because your bay leaf uh, can be a little bit brittle. And then think about a key word that you could put on your bay leaf that connects in with this spell, with this intent that you have. You might want to write the word money or abundance, wealth. You might want to put some dollar signs. There might be something specific, like one specific thing that you would that you're wanting the money for that you might maybe use that as your keyword. So just with like a texter, write your keyword across your bay leaf once it's charged up and then you can pop that one in your bag. Then you want to leave your candle as the very, very last thing because it's obviously not going in your bag and you charge it up in the same way with that same intent, thinking about the money, feeling it, all of those things. Take a couple of minutes to do that and set that up on your altar. Now you might want to also decorate your altar in connection to um, your money intent. So you might want maybe a green or a red or a gold cloth underneath. You might put a few items uh, around uh, your candle that connect maybe with your intent of money especially anything that maybe you're thinking about for, you know, using that money for, etc. Um, but you don't have to. If, if you want to keep it simple, you can just keep it really simple as well. Just some extra food for thought. So once that's all charged up, we seal our bag. And now it's good to tie up charm bags with three knots. Three being a really 
powerful magical number so just not even any kind of fancy knot just a simple three knots to tie up our our bag put it at the base of your candle without being too close that as it gets to as it gets low you're not going to set your um, charm bag on fire and then we have some words to say so goddess do hear my call create a pathway to my door which brings wealth and so much more luck and joy prosperity send money now swiftly to me with your blessings so mote it be blessed be then we want to light our candle and we would leave our candle to burn all the way down so while it's burning, it is charging up uh, our charm bag. And of course, being on the full moon, that will also charge our charm bag as well, bringing lots of boosted uh, energy. So you don't want to start carrying your charm bag until your candle has at least burnt all the way out. And then you can put your charm bag in your handbag. You can carry it in your pocket. You can keep it by the bed. Um, put it wherever makes the most sense to you but you do want to have it either on you or somewhere that feels most appropriate where you'll be able to be connected to it so that you've got that um, wealth and that abundance flow coming to you so it is that simple the wish candles take around two hours to burn out uh, and if it burns down faster that's usually a really positive sign that your spell you know has lots of energy behind it um, and is going to do really extra well for you. So that is essentially our money charm bag uh, that we have to show you today. I've just got a snippet here in the corner of the spell page that we include in our full moon boxes. So of course this was the spell from our November full moon box, which we are sold out of this month. Thanks, thanks to everyone that has bought one of those. Uh, don't forget you can check uh, mysticaldragon.com.au. We have uh, an online book of shadow there about 40 spells that you can take a look at if you are looking for any other spells and of course our youtube channel we're posting up spells there regularly full moon updates uh, all kinds of things so wishing you uh, lots of positive energy at this coming full moon guys hope that you have lots of success with this spell and that you really enjoy connecting with it and doing it and we'll see you again in future